Welcome, Charlotte. Your mother has told me a lot about you. The name is Lola? The name Charlotte is dead to me. Hmm. I see. Look, Doc. My mother wanted me here, so I'm here. What are you staring at? Your hair is very... pink. Does this give you the kind of attention you seek? What do you mean? Pink hair is silly and will never gain you respect. Do you enjoy being viewed by others as silly? Do you enjoy making it so difficult to respect you? What? You can't talk to me this way. I'm speaking to you this way because I do not respect you. I want to respect you, but you've made that impossible. Silly hair, silly name. You're just wrong. You have no idea what you're talking about. I'm going to list some facts now. Pay close attention. You're 23. You refuse to go to school or get a job. You insist on living at home rent free. Is that all accurate? Yeah. Oh, good. Then I have a simple diagnosis. You're a spoiled brat. What? Yes, you have what I call spoiled brat syndrome. It's not actually your fault. This stems from having a weak mother figure. But you're in luck. I can help you with that. I can help you with strong hypnosis. <laughs> hypnosis? No thanks. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. I will be using strong hypnosis on you. Well, that's not gonna work because I don't wanna be hypnotized. And I did some research before coming here and read that a person can't be hypnotized against their will. Oh, yes, that is something we do tell people. What does that mean? It means that the pendant above your head needs some attention. What? Don't you see it? The pendant spinning above your head? Wait, <laughs> why didn't I notice that before? Because you're not a very observant person, Charlotte. There are so many things that you don't notice, but I can help you. I can help you to begin noticing things and we can start with noticing the spiral on the pendant. What a pretty spiral. And next, begin noticing the spinning. So much spinning, such mesmerizing spinning. You can't take your eyes off the spinning. Don't speak, just focus on the spinning and only the spinning. Don't think about anything else right now. Just watch my pendant. I love this pendant and the way that it spins. Keep your head still and just use your eyes to watch it. Don't move your head, just use your eyes to watch it. And you know why I just asked you to do that. Because it makes your eyelids very tired. Very quickly. Really, really tired. Very, very quickly. You'd think that your eyelids would last longer than that. But when you don't move your head, and only use your eyes to follow the pendant, the spinning pendant, your eyelids become incredibly tired, wanting to blink, blinking more and more. What was I saying? I don't remember, and neither do you, because all that you can focus on right now is the pendant, as it spins and spins. And I'm thinking that it would be a great idea if you would fall into a nice, hypnotic sleep in a couple of minutes. I just think that that would be a great idea. And you agree with me, don't you? You want to let go and let your eyelids close. They are so tired right now because you're following the pendant with your eyes as your head remains still. You really want to rest right now. And I'll tell you to close your eyelids in just a second, but not just yet. Wait and be patient as your eyes become so dizzy that they just want to roll around and around and around. You're going to pass out. So dizzy that you're going to pass out. 
dizzy eyes rolling around and around, dizzy eyes rolling to the back of your head as you three, eyelids closing, two, closing down, one, sleep, 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 sleep. Eyelids closed, resting, feeling so good right now. It feels so good to rest your eyelids for me. It's okay. Just rest your eyelids for me and sleep. Sleep, sleep. This feels so nice to relax and let go. Just relax and let go. Letting go and following my commands. Open your eyes and follow my commands. Going forward, when you hear the name Charlotte, you will become instantly very agreeable, very compliant, and this will feel so good. It will feel so good to become agreeable and very compliant. On the other hand, when you hear the word Lola, you will feel sad and lonely, miserable, so miserable. Yes, sad, lonely, and miserable every time you hear the name Lola. And your new mother figure is the one telling you this. I am your new mother figure, Charlotte. The new mother figure who hypnotizes you and commands you. I hypnotize and command you in ways that help you. The kind of help that your biological mother can't give you. But you don't need her. You will respect her, but you don't need her. You need me, Charlotte. The only mother figure that you need is me. I will discipline you. I will mentor you the way a good mother figure should. You will come back here every week so that I can help you. You want me to help you, don't you? Yes, I want you to help me, Dr. Collins. And when you're in trance, you will call me Mother Collins. Outside of trance, I am Dr. Collins. But when you're deep in trance, you will call me Mother Collins. Do you understand? Yes, Mother Collins. Good. Now, Mother Collins is going to put you back to sleep now. So I want you to look at the spinning pendant again. Yes, look at it again. The more you listen to me speak, the more you begin to notice how my voice makes you feel. It calms you. It relaxes you. You want to pay attention. You want to pay close attention to what I'm saying, but it's just too difficult. My voice is too distracting. All of it makes sense. All you think about is falling asleep beginning to close your eyes and fall asleep. But you want to keep them open because closing your eyes while I'm speaking should be very rude and inconsiderate. And so you respect Mother Collins. So you don't want to anger her. So heavy, eyelids so heavy as you fight to keep them open. Fight to keep yourself from falling asleep but it's beginning to seem like an impossible task because the more that I speak, the sleepier you feel. My sleepy voice in your ear, making you sleep, pushing those eyelids down, pushing them down. But you are trying so hard to keep them open, trying your best to keep those heavy eyelids open. And you know that it's inevitable you will close your eyes. You will sleep for Mother Collins. It's okay, because I know that I am the reason that your eyes are beginning to close now. Beginning to close now. Beginning to close now. 10, eyes beginning to close now. Nine, so heavy. Eight, so tired. Seven, you feel so sleepy now. Six, your mind needs to rest. Five, your body needs to sleep. Four, 
You must sleep. Three, must sleep now. Two, I want you to sleep now. One, sleep. Good. Now that your eyes are closed, you can focus solely on my voice and how it makes you go deeper and deeper and deeper into sleep. Deeper and deeper and deeper into sleep. Falling deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper, so very deep now. Eyes are closed, so tired and lazy, wanting to sleep. Sleep feels so good. It's all you want to do right now. Just sleep. No more thinking. Just sleep. Good. Just sleep. Deep asleep. Just sleep. Deeper and deeper sleep. Deeper and deeper sleep. Feeling so tired. Feeling so drowsy. Sleepy slumber is coming. And you are so exhausted. You really need to rest. So, this is your chance to experience full relaxation and rest. Eyes feel so heavy and sleepy now. Every word I say is so heavy and sleepy. You will sleep until the end of the session. We still have 15 minutes left, but I'm done with you. So, you'll spend the remaining time just sleeping here and staying out of my way. Yes, sleeping right here, staying out of my way. Sleepy Charlotte falling asleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Sleepy Charlotte falling asleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. sleep.